Good morning, and welcome to this time of prayer for Wednesday, the 27th of April, 2020. Let us just take a few moments to gather our thoughts. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. The night is past, and the day lays open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our pointed psalm this morning is Psalm number two. Why are the nations in tumult? And why do the peoples devise a veiled plan? The kings of the earth rise up, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord, against his anointed. Let us break their bonds as under, and cast away their cords from us. He who dwells in heaven shall laugh them to scorn. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak to them in his wrath, and terrify them in his fury. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill Zion. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord, he said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and bash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore be wise, O kings, be prudent, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and with trembling kiss his feet, lest he be angry and you perish from the way of his wrath, is quickly kindled. Happy are all they who take refuge in him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our canticle this morning is a song of Ezekiel. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries. I will sprinkle clean water upon you, and you shall be clean from all your uncleanliness. A new heart I will give you, and put a new spirit within you. I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was at the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Spirit of God fills the whole world. Alleluia. Our intercessions for today. We pray for this day and the task which lay before us. We pray for the world and its needs, especially remembering those areas which are touched by war and strife and the virus. And we ask God's holy priesthood be empowered by the Holy Spirit. We pray for those who wait on God that they may find renewal. We pray for the earth, for productivity, and for a fruitful, fruitful harvest. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our call it for today. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us and exalt us to the place where your Savior Christ has gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray for God's healing grace for Bob Honders, Elena, Pauline, Velma, Nancy, Sarah, James, Bill and his family, Angela, Grace, Marjorie, Elota, Yvonne, Gord, Catherine, Richard, Stephen, Shirley M., Luca, Jacob, and to those who are known to you alone, 
In our congregational prayer cycle, we pray for Carolyn and Bill Lillicum, Jay Lester, Wilda and Perry Mariner, Pat McLeave, Bob and Linda Mateis, and Doris Michaels. By way of blessings and thanksgiving, we give thanks for the ministry of our parish council, for the sharing of their time and talents for the well-being of St. Clair's. We pray for those we love and see no longer, especially remembering Margaret, Sabina's mother. May light perpetual shine upon Margaret. And we pray and ask you, O Lord, to comfort Sabina and Terry and their family during this time of grief and sorrow. We pray for those who are coping with the virus. Keep us good, Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick and lift up all who are brought low, that we might find comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. And now, O Lord, we lift up our own prayers and petitions, which weigh heavy on our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you've given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you promise your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together, you will hear their requests. Fulfill now our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come eternal life. For you, Father, are good and loving, and we glorify you through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Savior has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, thank you for sharing this time of prayer with me on this Wednesday, and I hope you have a great day ahead. Amen.